Rich, can you talk about a little bit about the, the last play of the game, uh, clock running down? What, what was the challenge? Was it a challenge just to get the play in? I know I know you all felt limited in what you could call, but just getting that signaled in, what was that like? Yeah, the, the first thing was thought it was going to get reviewed because I think our half of our guys on the field were signaling a touchdown, thought it was a touchdown. The official clearly marked it short, but it was close enough that they thought it would get reviewed and they'd stop the clock. Well, that didn't happen. The clock was running and running and running, and so, you know, you'd like to run a sneak anyway, but, you know, we were running out of time to get into a formation, to get a play called, and so we just quickly called a sneak and tried to get one in there, hoping that they would blow the whistle and review it beforehand, which had never happened, and then... Uh, the sneak didn't, you know, we didn't get much push there. I don't know if they were off sides or not, but, you know, that didn't work either. So, I don't know how it ended. Well, when the decision was in the pass, was it a challenge to the fact that John Roddick was just in the game for the pass and never had it? No, he, you know, he did a pretty good job. I think he initially thought it was a touchdown, too, like said by us. And so, immediately, what normally happens is immediately, particularly in that situation, the play is over, your eyes go to the sideline and get the signal. At that time, it didn't happen immediately because they thought it was a touchdown. And then by the time they realized it didn't and they looked over, we just had time to get that play, the next the sneak in, and again, it didn't work. What sort of limitations are there on a quarterback when he's got injured ribs in practice, and how do you kind of handle Matt this week as he's trying to see if he can go? Yeah, the biggest thing is what can you do in practice? Um, and I won't know again uh, more until tomorrow, you know, see if it hurts when he throws. Um, normally, it's probably more more pain when you throw than when you uh, than when you run with it. But you know, we'll find out more as the week goes on. Coach, take me back to the missed field goal on that drive. Snoop looked like he was right on the goal line. They marked it all the way back on the two yard line. Was there any thought about getting a replay on that? Uh, I'm not sure which one are you talking about. There was a. Miss field goal when the bad snap on the one yard line, oh, two yeah. yard line, the play before that Snoop had ran it, it was right up on the goal line and they marked it all the way back on the two yard line. Was yeah, I wasn't sure about that spot. I didn't think he was in, um, but I wasn't unsure about the spot. Uh, and then we've been really pretty good on the snaps and then that one was just a little bit off and, you know, those things, it's like a penalty or something. When you go from the one to the six, it changes everything. A follow-up with that, if they put you on the two-yard line, if you were on about the half-yard line where it looked like Snoop made it to, would that have changed the play call there? Would you go on sure. under center possibly? Oh, well, I don't know about under center, but we'd have probably changed the, the, the play call for sure and then probably had two downs certainly to get it uh, with, with that. But that's all in the past. Rich, assuming Matt Corral is healthy, could you possibly see both quarterbacks in the game on Saturday? Yeah, you could see any number of guys. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. And again, we'll, we, it's a little bit different the way we do. I know some guys uh, don't practice. Their, you know, their backup quarterbacks don't get many reps. Ours get a lot of reps. I mean, we, we, our kind of reps are usually pretty evenly distributed between ones and twos on every position offensively. So our, our, uh, we've been trying to get three quarterbacks ready, um, Matt and John Rice and Grant Tisdale, and we'll continue to do that. Give us some uh, comments about the Alabama defense, what you've seen on film. Yeah, I mean, obviously they're, you know, they're really good. They're really good everywhere. I mean, it's, it's no secret. They've got really good players that play really hard, and they're very well coached. And that's the way they've always they've been there, and uh, this year is no different. You know, you look across, when there's not much, you see they've had a couple guys get hurt, but the other guys come in, you don't see uh, any drop off. I mean, they're... Uh, again, they're well coached. They play hard. They're obviously really good players. I mean, you can look how they've been recruiting over the years, so it's, it's no secret. And that's in all three phases. When you just look at the point totals Alabama's put up just the last two years, really, is there a thought to maybe you as an offense have to call the game more aggressively to kind of know that if it goes that way, you have to think that way? Well, I think there's probably a – you know, along those lines, um, you know, a lot of different thoughts. Because you play Alabama, who's so explosive, you, you know, that's hard to contain them. Do you try to shorten the game? Uh, do you do you, uh, do you try to, you know, play, like you said, more aggressively to match up? I don't know. I don't think anybody's had the right strategy. They haven't lost too many games over the years. I think you just – I think more than anything, you've got to try to do what you do. 
and be conscious of that. Uh, be conscious of what you know what's happening with your defense and and Matt Luke does a great job of that, trying to you know play you know to help help with that that regard. But you know right now our focus is you know let's see if we can if we can get a first down or two. You know obviously the the best thing to help our defense out is to try to get some first downs and and control the ball a little bit. That's a lot easier said than done. Rich, it's probably ancient history at this point, but I was just wondering if you have any memories or thoughts about when you almost ended up at Alabama, that two or three day period a couple of years back. Uh, just yeah, what you remember from that. A few years back, right? I was just wondering why, I don't, you know, all the, all the national championships they won in the last 13, 14 years with Nick, you know, I should get a little bit of credit, <laughs> you know. For, there's no mention at all for my any in my responsibility in helping them win all them championships with Coach Saban. Because had I gone there, you know, Nick wouldn't have been there, and they wouldn't have been as as great as they are right now. So I don't think they're going to put a statue up of me or anything outside there. But uh, yeah, I think about it a little bit when we when we play them. I'm sure I, you know somebody's going to ask me a question, and somebody will probably give me a hard time, give me some grief about it. But you know, they've got the greatest college football coach of all time. And it's worked out really well for him. You know, I can look back and, see, you know, everybody asks, do you have regrets? And I think, you know, every coach at probably some point in their career has something that they look back on or decisions they made and, and think twice about. You know, I've, I've had great experiences since then. I've been, I'm blessed to be here. I'm grateful I have this opportunity. But, you know, the Crimson Tide got Nick Saban, the greatest college coach of all time, and it's worked out really well for Alabama. And I know a lot of guys on their staff. I know Coach Saban, their athletic director. I know Greg Byrne. He's the one who hired me to Arizona. They got a lot of great people. I was, you know, know their program a little bit. But it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, from outside looking in, what he's done there. I mean, not only has he he's built the best college football dynasty of all time, and I don't think anybody can argue that.